G'day legends, in this short video I am going to show you a, a quick action inside Photoshop that will save you a ton of time when you are trying to batch a heap of photos from high res to low res and then um, you know save them to your phone so you can share on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. So the objective of this video is to show you my settings that I save out uh, to put up on Instagram but uh, yeah, also do it in a manner which is going to be super streamlined. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my image up inside Photoshop. This is a picture I took recently in the beautiful Byron Bay. I'm going to use this image to make an action. First of all though, I will go in and I'll show you the actual image size of this. And it's massive. It's taken with my R5 and it comes out at a whopping 8,000 pixels wide by five, nearly five and a half high. Now that creates a, at the moment, it's an image size of 128 meg and you don't want to be putting 128 meg files constantly onto your phone because it's going to fill up and there's no reason for to have it such high resolution because this is the resolution that you'd, uh, you'd want if you was going to print it. You want the highest resolution, so you want to retain this copy because this is my high resolution JPEG or high resolution TIFF, uh, this one's my JPEG. And I keep this in a folder as my one if anyone ever wants a print of it or I want to send it to a magazine, this is probably the file I'd send. But to put it online, we're going to make it much smaller, but not as small as some people would think. So the image size here, say if I just wanted to save it as um, the ratio it is, I like to bring this down to 3,000 pixels wide and I used to do them about 2,000 or 2.2 but now they've got the pinch and zoom system on Instagram so uh, people can enlarge your photos and I like to have a little bit more guts in there and I know Instagram downsizes the uh, file anyway and uh, it has its way with you or a file when you load it but I don't know I've just got a feeling that my Instagram set has seemed to look good at about two and a half thousand pixels at the longest size to 3,000 pixels. So in this case, I'm gonna choose 3,000 pixels. Now, one way of changing the size is to go into image, image size, and you can just change the size there. You put in 3,000 pixels. And as long as this is linked, uh, it'll keep the ratios similar. I don't do that for this case because I am going to make an action now this action is so good, it's gonna save you so much time if you don't know about them. You can uh, use these for all of your, um, a lot of your Photoshop workflow. It's gonna save you a ton of time, and in this case it certainly does. So I'm going to go over to this right hand bar over here and bring up my action tab. If that's not active in your right hand bar, you can go into window and um, come down here and make sure you tick action so then it shows up over here. Now I've made, they all have default actions and sometimes some other stuff. What I've done is I've gone in there and uh, made a new set and I've called this one Surf Website Actions. And I've got a few, few little actions in there that um, I save stuff in. Now what I'm gonna do today is make a brand new action and show you how I do it, how I make my Instagram save. So I've got an Instagram save here already, but I'm gonna make a new action and show you how to do it. So um, yeah, in that little, drop down menu, we want to go new action and then you name the new action so you know what you're doing. So I'm going to say Instagram, Insta save, let's say, and I'll name it 3000 pixels because that's how my longest size is going to be. And as soon as you hit record, everything from now on is going to record in this action. So I've hit record and this Photos all be, already been editing, say that I do want the three by two ratio. If I wanted it in a square, I would crop it beforehand. Um, but in this case, we'll just leave it as it is. Now, instead of going to image, image size, I'm gonna instead go to file, and this is a crucial part of it, and uh, part of sizing, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. But you go file and automate, and you go down to fit image and I've already got it set on 3000, but this might be set on who knows what. But if you want, this is where you change it to 3000 width and 3000 height. So it will constrain it within that. So the good thing about this is that unlike the image where you would 
change the image to 3000 wide, if you then use this action for a vertical picture, well then your vertical picture will be 3000 images, uh, 3000 pixels wide and about, you know, close to 6000 long and it'll be too long. So this, doing it this way will suit both square images, vertical images, horizontal images, doesn't matter what image, the longest side will be 3000 pixels. So we go OK to that, it's simple. Now it's now we check the image size. We don't have to do this in our, uh, in our action, but yeah, as you can see, the width's 3000 and it's chosen a height that's constrained, um, which is uh, around about 2000. Anyway, so, so far in this action, it's recording, the red light's on, all we've done is fit to image. And this is simple as now going to file save as not save because then you'd be saving over the top of your high quality original jpeg we're going save as which makes a new copy and then we find i normally save all of my images onto external hard drives except for my instagram stuff because um or you know some other stuff as well but like my low res files I've got um, you know access to my desktop all the time. If I change between hard drives, well then this, if I assign the action to a hard drive, when I change over to a new hard drive, it doesn't know where to save it because the hard drive might not be plugged in. Whereas your desktop is always there. So I have made, I've pre-made a folder in um, on my desktop. But just to show you for this time, um, I select desktop. This is in a Mac, but it's very similar in a PC. So I can go new folder and I'll go Instagram, Instagram um, 3000. Create. And now you just, you leave the file name as is. Uh, you check that this is a JPEG if it's not already. Um, the profile sRGB is perfect for uh, screen. And you simply go save. And then it will bring up a image quality option and you notice that it's got 11 from maybe one of the last saves I did from something if you push it up to 12 you know it's gone to 6 meg which is pretty big 11 was 3 3.3 meg or something 10 was 2.7 meg I like to go at 9 I think it's a good compromise it's still in the high range as soon as you go to 8 it's sort of um, I think it goes oh, still in high but it goes medium at 7 so you can go anywhere between eight and nine, and I feel that's a good compromise between a low enough file size, but a high enough resolution. So I go, okay. And then, so what it's done so far, just checking back in with our recording, we've, we've fitted the image to that size, we've saved it into a folder. And now I like to then close the image, but then make sure that I'm back in this in this uh, actions panel, I come down to here and it's got a stop button and I stop the recording. So now, when my next image comes up, another one at Byron Bay, I can either, I can just press this button and it immediately resizes it at 3000 pixels widest point and then sends it to my Instagram folder by just pressing the button. So you don't have to do all that sizing every time, it just does it. Now, say if I say, oh, look, this has got a, a lot of wasted room, I definitely want this as a square, you can bring up the crop button, and up the top here, I've already got it in square, but it's got everything from original ratio to you can choose the width and resolution. It's got four by five, so the popular uh, size for Instagram is four by five vertical, like that. So you can then crop it, and even though that's now a vertical image, I can still use this and I just play the action. So down here, we go play, and it flies off that image to my desktop, which has got Instagram 3000, and it's got my two files inside there, and instead of being massive 120 meg files, they're 1.7 meg files. This one's a two meg file, and they're ready to go to Instagram. And that one is sized perfectly at the four by five ratio like we did, and that one's my other picture. Then it's a matter of just when you're, if you're on a Mac anyway, you can just select those, both of those, and go to uh, go to this little share button up here and go AirDrop, 
and then it finds my iPhone and I can go, yep, send to my iPhone. So they're perfectly now resized on my iPhone and I can share to Instagram and I've got them on my folders. Now, let's show you even more power of this uh, action that you've made now. I can now go in down into a thing called automate, then batch, and inside, make sure you're in the right set, so we made this in Surf Website Actions, and I'll go and find my, my action that I named Instagram Save 3000, and then I can go into all of my, so these are my high res ones, so I took a bunch of pictures at, actually it crossed over with a few Noosa shots as well, but I uh, took a bunch of photos at Byron, and they're all in high res. So what I do is I want to grab those images, so I choose that folder, and I don't go save, and, and then I go over to this right hand side of this panel, I don't go save and close, I want to save it into a folder. And then I go choose, and I find my Instagram folder, desktop, Instagram 3000, choose. And because it's got this, this uh, action selected, what it's going to do is going to take all of those images, and there's about 15, but you can do this with, like, I'm literally doing this with thousands of pictures. So when I do a big commercial job, um, the one behind here at the moment is a commercial job that I've got, like, there's 250 pictures in this, involved in this um, accommodation shoot. And what I'm going to do soon is resize them for web size for the person, and I'll use a similar action to this. And what will happen is that it'll get all of those images and uh, in this case, well, I've got about 10 or 15 images, maybe more. And it'll resize them to 3,000 pixels, but instead of saving it, it'll save them into this Instagram folder. So I go OK, and then, boom, it starts working its magic. So it brings up every image, it saves it to the folder, it flies it over to the destination folder, which is Instagram 3000. Okay, so now you can see if we go back to our finder and we go desktop, we go to our Instagram 3000 and all of those pictures are now inside our folder. So instead of individually going to image size, going there, changing the image size to, you know, whatever you wanted um, and then going save as and then finding the folder you're going to save in. All you have to do is set up an action if you've got a folder full of photos, or you can even have all your images open, and then just at the quick press of a button, just go play, and that, and that flies off to your folder. Play, that flies off to your folder. But yeah, actions are incredibly, uh, I think, incredibly powerful, and just saves me so much time uh, within Photoshop. So. I recommend that you uh, have a look at them and you know this is one of the most basic actions that you'll make. Uh, you can do actions with um, all sorts of things which I'll allude to in uh, future courses and future YouTubes if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the editing stuff. I haven't done much editing stuff on YouTube. Also if you're interested in taking my tutorials further I have got a link below with my website which has got a uh, host of courses including water photography, general photography and there's a whole lot more coming as well so um, I'd love to stay in touch and uh, yeah please reach out with any questions. Thanks for tuning in today legends and uh, we'll see you soon.